Hey everybody, Georgia Bassmasters here, coming today to give you this Lucky Tackle Box versus Mystery Tackle Box November unboxing. So let me go ahead and open this Mystery Tackle Box. I have not opened it yet. So let's see what we got inside. I try to make these as quick as possible because nobody likes watching a 25 minute long unboxing video, or at least I don't. Oh. First thing we have is a really cool sticker. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Catch cut, I like that. You have your dibbles, tips and tricks that you get every single month with no crossword puzzle to this time, I guess not. Oh, three ways to fish chatterbait. That's what I'm talking about. So there's just a little bit different game on the back rather than the tips and tricks. And the first thing we have is a Hawkeye Bass Jig. Thunderhawk, and I'm telling you, this looks great. Look at that. It's kind of like a shad color, a white, a white shad and a white shad, but it is a 3 8 ounce. That is great. Hawkeye Bass Jig, $3.29 jig. That's gonna be a killer. Let me try to get that. That's a killer looking jig. Already liking it. <clears throat> Some Daichi, Daiachi, worm hook, three pack. And it looks like one of these is brass and the other, one's different than the other. That is a uh, $1. fifty pack of, pack of hooks. So that's good. A nice Bexon Deep Thud Series Phantom Square Boy. And it says this this is an $8 lure. Okay, let me turn it this way. Look at that. It's a pretty good looking little square bill. It's a half ounce, it's a four foot diving square bill. I like it. Guys, you can never have enough chatterbaits. A 3 8 ounce white shad looking 5 alt hook chatterbait. That is a fall bass fishing killing bait, I'm telling you. And then, last but not least, we have some sweet spot tackle. And these are some paddle shad swim baits. Swim baits. I don't know why this thing keeps doing that. Let me go ahead and just open this. No scent to them really, but these would make a great trailer on the back of this. So, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think Lucky Tackle Box is gonna be able to beat this because I think this might be my favorite mystery tackle box I've ever got because when it comes down to swim baits that's one chatterbait two hooks three jig four square bill five we got five baits here and my all-time two favorite baits are a jig and a chatterbait so gonna be hard for lucky tackle box to beat that so and show y'all what is in November's Lucky Tackle Box. So they're gonna come at you with some swim baits. A little bit larger than Mystery Tackle Box. And I'm not even sure of the brand of these. Toad's Tackle. Looks like a pretty solid looking swim bait. And then the B&M. Not a very big pack. But these are kind of like a robo worm almost. I'd probably flick shake wacky style out. But they are scented. Plenty of salt. You have a Area 51 classified jerk bait. It's gold. Don't know what it makes in the Area 51. Hey, I'm not a big jerkbait fan, so 
Maybe you are. Let's go ahead and make that two. I don't know how deep this thing dives. This is a lunker shad. A tight. It says that it's is it a it's a tight wobbling shad imitation. And it's supposed to go really deep, but it doesn't have a depth wrote on there. But if you guys can see that lip on that, I guarantee it's gonna go at least a foot. I would really like to know the depth on that. So crankbait. And then they're gonna come at you with their hooks. It's like both companies have to come at you with hooks. And then mystery tackle bottles, kind of like a pamphlet. And as you can see, they're back because they were bought by a new owner. That's why I'm doing this video to see how they compare. It's got some something about the Ned rig. Fall baits, top water, bass jigs, crate baits. So a pretty good little book to read. And I guess if you guys uh, take some good pictures with your Lucky Tackle Box, you'll get featured in their magazine. So they have a pack of hooks, comparative to Mystery Tackle Box pack of hooks. They have a crankbait. Mystery Tackle Box has a crankbait. They have a jerkbait, while Mystery Tackle Box has a chatterbait. They have a pack of worms while Mr. Tackle Box has a jig and they have a pack of swim baits while Mystery Tackle Box has a pack of swim baits and the only thing that Mystery Tackle Box has that Lucky Tackle Box doesn't is a sticker so one extra bonus point for Mystery Tackle Box if you ask me which one I like better MTB but I will tell you this, Lucky Tackle Box, you have stepped up your game since as a company last year, I wasn't too crazy about your boxes, but I have to say that that's a pretty solid box. But I am a diehard Chatterbait and Jig fan, so Mystery Tackle Box is gonna have the win, in my opinion, on what is the better box. Mr. Tackle Box is going to win as of November of 2019. But Lucky Tackle Box might step up their game next month. They've stepped up their game a lot. So I hope you guys enjoy these. I'm going to try to do a comparison video of these every single month. So if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe down the channel. Turn that little red button gray. Go ahead and hit the little ding dong bell symbol beside it. Like this video and comment down below. Which one do you think was the better box? And we'll see you guys later. Peace.